All right, so there is going to be a candlelight vigil tonight for six-year-old Noel Rodriguez Alvarez. Yeah, Everman police have now said that the search for him has transitioned into a death investigation. Fox Force TC Muzinga live this morning with the latest. TCU. Yeah, good morning, Brandon. So Everman police are hoping that any tip from the public will lead them to the boy's body. Now, investigators have been looking around the Everman area. Back in late March, an Amber Alert was issued. It was later discontinued, and an endangered missing persons report was issued. Let, let me let her finish, um, just in case I have to give anybody an update. For the six-year-old. After that happened, police say his mother, Cindy Rodriguez Singh, along with her husband and six of the boy's siblings, left the country without him. They believe the family is now in India. All right, let me give a little background. They, they left a lot out. All right, so this little boy went missing. Um, police thought that the guy, that boy went missing in um, pretty much like November. Come to find out the little boy's been missing since October of 2022. Long story short, police reached out to the mother in March for the first time. Okay, so they found out in March that the boy went missing. Um, they thought that because the mother gave him a false story that the kid was in Mexico with his father who he's never met the father was actually deported before he was ever born long story short the boy was missing since October of 2022 even though the police got the initial report in March of 2023 next day after getting in contact with the police mother six kids other six kids you know because she has seven he's number seven six kids and her husband got on the flight out of the country to go to India they made a stop in Turkey unknown where they got off the plane that was just a destination one-way flight police uh was looking for the boy for a long period of time couldn't find him initially he went from missing to now they're doing a death investigation mother also has a warrant they got a warrant for um for two charges lying to police which is nothing serious i don't know if they can extradite on that and then the other charge is going to be endangerment so no murder charge i'm not even sure if they can actually uh charge for that i mean extradite for that noel has developed mental and physical challenges as well so according to everman police family members have said they witnessed the mother abusing him and referring him as evil and possessed there are felony warrants issued for the arrest of the mother and her husband for abandoning and endangering a child. And Everman police are trying to get the two adults extradited back to the U.S. Now, tonight's vigil is at Everman Civic Center, and it's all happening tonight at 8.30 p.m. But again, anyone with information, Everman police are asking them to give them a call with any information. Definitely. Um, anybody who lives in that area, Everman, Texas, for any information. Also, um, Real quick update, we're gonna stay on top of this incident, on top of this case. They're still looking for this little boy here. He has disabilities, six years old, mentally and physical disabilities. Mother and father, if you wanna call him that, should not be in America. They do have active warrants. Like I said, um, we'll stay on top of this. They do have a vigil. <sighs> Long story, get in the comment section, let me know your thoughts, make sure that you like subscribe to the channel if you're new and also share the video until next time